How y'all doing? So, hello and welcome. So this is Nate. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day today. It's a little drizzly out today. I brought the weather from Mississippi with me. <laughs> it's monsoon there and uh, it's trying to get that way here. <laughs> but uh, we got to get you this really nice um, Champion Home part of the... So this is going to be actually a Scott built, which is part of Champion Homes. This is of the Yellowstone series called the Montana, ironically, since that's where I'm from. <laughs> but uh, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. We have giant dining room off to that side. We've got an office. We've got a flex space. Your floor plan in this one is completely different than anything you're used to seeing. And check out this gorgeous porch we got right here. <laughs> Huge front porch. The price on this is unbelievable. I mean, y'all won't believe the price on this one. But uh, once we get inside, we'll take a look. And, you know, this is a completely all top end, top of the line type stuff. So uh, let's get out of the rain here. Now, as we're walking down, we can see you got lights all the way down your front porch. A couple of lights over here above your door. I really like the dark wood that they used around the vinyl siding there. It is time to head on in, but before we can do that, you need to go down there and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff. And now we'll step on in. So something kind of unique right as we come in these uh different style of door handles they look really good now you'll see stuff like that throughout the whole home and then you got your foyer area and check out this beam work they did in your foyer this is going to be your dining room area I know we're starting off in a totally different spot because the living room is not right as you walk in. That's right. <laughs> I told you it's a totally different floor plan. We'll step over here and then we'll give you just a quick pan. Over here is the flex space. So there's once again your front door. This is going to be the flex space area. All your vents are in the ceiling. So this is about the same size as the dining room. With a home like this, you could easily be the one doing all the entertaining on like your your family get-togethers and football parties nascar parties things like that because you've got a ton of space there the dining room this super large island with a couple of spots for seating if you wanted to use it for that. But just think of all the food you could have laid out on here when you're having your big get togethers. The great cabinets on this side with drawers over doors.
and look at the size of your fridge. <laughs> you got the big industrial fridge, refrigerator, freezer. You know, with it being this big, we have to open them up and take a look at them, right? Now there's normally handles there. You saw them inside the doors. They just haven't put them on yet. These are all Whirlpool stainless steel appliances. Two windows that open up. So it's been a while since I've had to film in the rain. I've actually been kind of enjoying not have to worry about it. <laughs> or not having to deal with it. So we have a couple of cubbies behind these, these sliders here. Yes, I have my drink in one of the cupboards. <laughs> so I don't think I've opened a cabinet yet. Soft close. All right. So now as we pan back around, coming out of the kitchen, we're going to go to the living room area. And I didn't go to the back side of the home because I was trying to stay out of the rain because I was underneath a couple of trees. But <laughs> So look at all these windows you have in your living room. Great big living room area. Now like that flex space right there, you could also set that up as like a, a uh, game room area or something of that nature or a sitting room. Now in the floor plans, you can make this a four bedroom instead of a three bedroom by taking the office, which is right there we're going to go into, and moving it down here and moving the flex space over here and making this the fourth bedroom area. Yeah, this is a perfect little office space area. And they give you plenty of plugs because you know if you're using it as an office, you're going to have a lot of things plugged in. So on to the next one. We're going to come down here and get the first of the three or the first of the two guest bedrooms. I forgot to turn the light on in the closet. So we'll get that as we come in. Right, so you can see we've got walk-in closets. And into the second guest bedroom. Now this one's got a lot of the trim supplies in it, so we're not going to Move around in here too much. And then your closet. Also walk in. Our guest bathroom with the extra large um, tub. And now to the other end of the home where we still got a lot more stuff to see. 
Yeah, this has got a lot of everything. We have our utility room. There's your breaker panel, your back door. Your washer and dryer hookups. Your furnace is going to be behind this door. And then before we go into the primary bedroom, you've got what you could either use as pantry area, linen storage, you know, you can use it for whatever you want. And then in here is just kind of a flex room. You could uh, maybe put you a couple shelves or a freezer over there. You know, you could do a lot of different things with this. Let's see, what do they call this on the floor plan? So, yep, they're calling it a walk-in pantry. So, based on that floor plan, so there would be more shelves right here where this door is yep so yeah you could have quite a bit of pantry space okay <laughs> I was trying to interpret the floor plans and see what how it was laid out we got an extra large primary suite And then, I didn't even tell you about the closet. <laughs> we got ourselves a little bench with some built-ins. There is your water heater access. In the primary bathroom, we have the extra long, uh, extra deep tub. Nice dark brown shiplap around the windows. Plenty of drawers in your cabinets here. We can't forget to say hello to Raiden. We have our water closet, and I didn't turn the light on in this one either. And then we'll finish up with the shower. Now they went almost to the ceiling. Of course, you got your trim that finishes it up all the way around. Looks really good. We have the bench. Of course, I don't have the shower head on just yet. But I know what is on. It's that comment section down below where you can go down there and leave me a comment letting me know what you think of this really nice Scott built home built by Champion Homes called the Montana. <laughs> and you know what? This would do really well in Montana, by the way. <laughs> anyway, so uh, while you're there, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and I'll be back shortly with some price information. Thanks for watching. We have successfully toured the Montana. This is part of the Yellowstone series by Scott Built Homes, 
that is part of Champion Home Builders. So I know a lot of names out there, hard to keep track of sometimes. So, <laughs> and speaking of names, I think I'm, I got to go back and put it in as I'm editing this, but I forgot to mention that this was at Sanders Housing in Pensacola, Florida. This is just the tip of the iceberg of the stuff that they had there. <laughs> I wish I'd have had more time. They had a couple other homes I really wanted to film, but I ran out of time. But I got the best of the best while I was there. Trust me on that one. This was also, I filmed this one at the very end of the week after spending, you know, four days at the Biloxi Home Show filming, that kind of stuff. So um, I apologize. This was the very first one I filmed that day. I could hear it in my voice that I was tired. I'd been driving for two hours to get there and it just, then it started raining. <laughs> so I'm sorry. It wasn't my best video, but now to get you some price information, this will cheer you up. <laughs> Believe me, the price on this makes me wish or think I mean, I considered it because I, I love this home. I considered should I move to Florida just to buy this home? Remember, you don't know what options you're going to get, so price could vary depending on options you get or where you have it delivered. Sanders Housing has this home listed for $219,000 as shown. Of course, now that would include fully trimmed out. Obviously, they don't have it trimmed out, but uh, on your property, it would be fully trimmed out for that price. <laughs> but anyway, I got to get going. I got things to do. You got things to do. Thanks for spending your time with me and watching this one, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to check out either one of these two videos right here. Yeah. <laughs> and have a good day. <laughs> Bye.